Since becoming king in September, King Charles has only made one state visit, which was to Germany in March. To safeguard connections with Commonwealth nations, senior royals will henceforth be on tours for two years. Even though there had been a small hiccup in tours, and only one since the king assumed the throne, a palisource declared last night that state visits are back in business. According to rumors, the king, Queen Camilla, and the Prince and Princess of Wales are eager to demonstrate how soft diplomacy can improve ties with nations like Australia. Several visits have now been confirmed, despite the apparent displeasure with the allegedly long approval process. William has a confirmed trip to New York in September, and he and his wife Kate are anticipated to travel to Singapore in the fall. The couple may bring their three children, Prince George, 10, Princess Charlotte, 8, and Prince Louis, 5, along to visits as a result of the increase in visits. King Charles and Queen Camilla will also visit Kenya later this year, as the Mail on Sunday reported. Kenya, despite being a significant member of the Commonwealth, does not accept the king as the head of state. A number of previously postponed journeys, including the king and queen's trip to France earlier this year, are apparently being revived. The royal couple was scheduled to visit France in March, but the trip had to be postponed because of unrest. Next year, when Samoa is hosting a summit of the Commonwealth Heads of Government, the king will also travel there. A senior Australian ambassador earlier this year expressed concern that Australia would eventually eliminate the monarchy and King Charles as head of state, calling it inevitable. When King Charles became king, Australians desired to abolish having a head of state and become a republic was especially stoked. Plans call for Australia to proceed in the same manner as Jamaica, who is one step ahead of them. The Prime Minister of Jamaica, Andrew Holness, informed William and Kate on their tour to the Caribbean last year that his country wants to achieve complete independence and address the unresolved slavery issue. The co-chair of the advocacy group Advocates Network Jamaica for Good Governance and Human Rights, Professor Rosalia Hamilton, spoke to Express.co.uk earlier this year about the king's function in Jamaica. It is important to remove the king as head of state, but today it is even more important to remove the institutional structure that we have inherited, she remarked. We argue that the overly centralized government system that silences the voice of the Jamaican people must be changed. We are in favor of a republic that would grant the Jamaican people sovereign power.